What's up, everybody? Hey, uh, just have a little fun, hopefully fun video for you. Check this out. I'm gonna give you one guess as to where I'm at. I am going skydiving. It's Memorial Day, and <laughs> I haven't done my hair in like a week. Uh, no extra bond, nothing. Um, so am I terrified that I'm gonna land uh, before my hair does? Yeah, yeah I am. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway, I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> How was it? Took a left turn at Mars. Did you have fun? Oh, it was great. It was super good. We did like some really cool. I noticed that. Yeah, it was awesome. Nice. I'm glad you're safe. Super safe. Okay, check this out. Um, actually, just having lunch here. 120 plus miles per hour. Not even a lift. I ended up. Okay, that's a lift. Ended up putting on a bandana around, you know, trying to be fashionable. That worked. Helped a lot. As you can see, like I'm out to lunch right after. Pretty cool. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is skydiving hair. Oh boy. Okay, I just I just actually took myself through the paces. I'm pulling on the front hairline. I'm doing all sorts of things. So first and foremost, yes, I got some sun. Um, yes, my hair is a mess and I love it. When was the last time you had a messy hair day? Come on. Um, I literally just did this. I pulled on the temple. Temple's coming up. Again, this is a week without any maintenance. A week, okay? This is crazy. This is just off center from the front hairline. This is the other side. Again, it's coming up. It's got to, right? It's been a week with no maintenance. A week with no maintenance. This side's pretty good, actually. It's not coming up. Um, I'm going to tell you skydiving check. You could go skydiving. Look at this. Look at it. Yes, it's messy, but here's the trick. Okay. This is after seriously, no, like one full week of not touching it, not doing anything to it. But here's the trick that I did. I've actually had a bandana in my head or in my car that I turned into a headband. Okay. That saved my behind. I'm going to tell you right now that without a headband, you know, going across and being tied pretty tight in the back. I don't know. You guys, I really don't know if it would have made it or not. Um, I was planning on just, let's just go out there and see what happens kind of a thing. And I couldn't do that to the instructor. He's a super nice guy. And I didn't want this thing flying up into his face. One for safety, you know, both of our safety, but for two, it's just embarrassing, right? Um, and I had some friends there that were watching. I didn't, you know, some of them didn't know I had a, a hair system. I didn't want to come down <laughs> after skydiving looking like I've been scalped. Uh, that's just not what I wanted to do. 
But having said that, I'll tell you what, if I would have had, you know, redone at least the front hairline, at least a couple inches, at least pulled it back and redone the front, I think I could have done it. I really do. Um, I, I almost wanted to just go up there and jump again, you know, just without the headband and see, hey, even without, you know, getting um, or redoing the front, what would happen? And I'm not convinced that it would have come off. Excuse me. Yes, I did, you know, let, let this go for a, a full week. But I'm going to tell you, like, you, can you go on a fast boat, a speedboat? Of course you can. Like, I stick my head out of the window of the car, like, all the time. Some of you that follow, follow me on social media, you know I have a couple, uh, you know, Facebook profile pictures of me doing that. Um, and same with the hair, and it's, it's not going anywhere. Um, but going 120 miles per hour, plummeting towards the earth, I just had a freaking little headband on, and it just protected, it just enough wind was now swept over the hairline, so it didn't catch any of those pulls, any of those lifts, uh, which I was convinced at some point that it would have, it would have like, you know, continue to work its way in there and create a bubble underneath the poly membrane between the poly and my scalp. I didn't really want that. And so um, thankfully I had that bandana, a YouTube video, a minute and 47 seconds later, I had myself a fashioned bandana and tied and it was all good. Now, of course, if you're going to do skydiving, check with your instructor, make sure you can be wearing a headband. Mine was pretty cool. He was like, are you sure you want to jump at that? I don't know if it's going to make it. I was like, yeah, I'd rather do that for both of our safety. I didn't want this thing whacking you in the face. That's not, that's not, that's not good for both of us. So, um, so check with your instructor for sure. But I'm going to tell you, my hair still looks phenomenal. Um, again, this is the Lord hair UTS model, formerly called the S 22 model. Um, it's a full poly base 0.03 millimeters. Um, it's phenomenal guys. Like it's ridiculous. It's in great shape. Like I've had this almost gosh, what a month and a half at least I'll have to double check. Uh, minimal shedding. Like, I don't even know, like, I think maybe 10 hairs have come out of this thing. And I just went skydiving. I ran my head, my hands through a bunch, a five hour drive, um, home afterwards, you know, I have the windows down. It's just blowing like crazy. They like, I don't know. I don't know of another company that makes them like this. You guys, if you want to pick one up and check it out for yourself, uh, you literally can do that anytime because it's going to be the least expensive, uh, model that I've found, uh, least expensive company at hands down. So anyway, guys and gals, skydiving with the hair system? Are you kidding me? The answer is yes. Take precautions, be smart about it. Um, but the answer is yes for me. It's a huge yes. So guys and gals, this is Michael just signing out for now. I'm going to go shower. I'm going to go relax. So, okay. Michael signing out for now. We'll talk soon. Bye.